what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we can talk about scream scream 5 speculating as it relates to the new information that came out with the official details that pertains to the upcoming scream 25th anniversary re-release that paramount pictures will be doing in, a, in the month of october officially on october 19th when the new updated 4k and updated blu-ray will be released with one specific new special feature that has a lot of people talking and speculating as it pertains to this fathom event and what it could mean as it relates to screen five so there's one special feature that that was mentioned in this press release that came out yesterday from paramount pictures it says celebrate the 20th 25th anniversary of the iconic thriller newly released mastered on newly remastered on 4k ultra hd and blu-ray coming out on october 19 2021 there you see the cover art now here's the list of the special features you have a bloody legacy scream 25 years later you have the audio commentary by craven and kevin williamson production featurette behind the scenes on on the scream set drew barrymore q a with cast and crew what's your favorite scary movie why are people so fascinated by horror films the one that everyone's going to be paying the most attention to of course is the one up top it's the only one with the bold new next to it a bloody legacy scream 25 years later this is said to be including a mix of things in it as it pertains to the team of radio silence the old cast mixed in with the new cast and i guess they're just going to be sharing their thoughts on how they see scream and what scream means to them and the legacy that it's maintained for the past 25 years or so and it says the new scream 4k ultra hd limited edition ultra hd steelbook and blu-ray include a brand new look back at the film and the director wes craven featuring archival behind the scenes footage and new interviews with stars neff campbell courtney cox and david arquette as well as screenwriter kevin williamson and the directors and other cast members from the new installment in the franchise scheduled to be premiered in theaters october 20 not october in 2022 from paramount pictures and spyglass media group the disc also includes access to a digital copy of the film and the legacy bonus content detail below so going back over what i was saying there's going to be new interviews with nev courtney and david as well as from kevin williams and himself and the directors and the other cast members from the new installment that pertain to screen five this could be the green screen stuff that we saw matt and tyler and chavalilla uh doing earlier in the year it seemed with that image that came out where they were all sitting in front of a green screen this could be that featurette that's coming out and that could be what's featured at this fathom event more so than our first look at screen five in in the sense of a teaser anyway because this first look at screen five could very well include certain things of them just going around on set talking about what they have done with screen five and who knows how long this bloody legacy feature it will be i'm assuming that's going to be the thing that plays either in front of scream when it has its not one but actually two night fathom event on october 10th and october 11th tickets apparently are supposed to go on sale on august 20th so mark your calendars for that day and just pay attention to the fathom event website in general prior to that because they could always drop earlier in your area but it says august 20th when you go to the website at least for me it did anyway but they will be having them for two nights not just one for october 10th and 11th who knows how long this bloody legacy scream 25 years later feature it could be and this could be shown either before the new film not new film before the 25th screening of scream 25th anniversary screaming of scream rather or it could be shown after where they hype up and talk about the legacy of the new film or the current film i mean to say and the franchise itself and then hype up how they're trying to breathe new life into it with what they created for what we're going to see in january of 2022 so you know a lot of exciting things to think about because the one person i know i'm excited to hear from is melissa barrera i i want to hear from her and jenna ortega but more so melissa barrera because i think what's going to happen here with the whole subverting expectations is for one considering that jenna ortega has been kind of positioned in a way to be the quote-unquote final girl not to say that that's actually the case but for those of us who think it's going to be jenna ortega's tara carpenter that's carrying the story and her sister's just coming back to town she's going to be positioned as the final girl but what i think could end up happening and that's again going back to subverting our expectations from what we have been told from the media releases and everything else that's come out subverting our expectations along the way while we watch scream 5 
We'll come to find that Tara isn't the final girl per se as much as Sam, her sister, is played by Melissa Barrera. So I'm curious to see if these new interviews will share any insight as to what these new characters they're playing might have to factor into the, with the narrative. Maybe we'll get some more descriptive backgrounds about what we can expect from these two characters maybe even with the other cast members because who know who else could be in this dylan minette could have something to say in this featurette uh sonia could have something to say and um cuba gooding jr's son mason gooding could have something to say in the featurette so many different people who we know is in the film could have something to say in this featurette if they're in it uh because again it's titled a blood a bloody legacy scream 25 years later so with all these new interviews that are going to be mixed in, I know the most exciting thing I am anticipating is that Melissa Barrera will talk about her new character and, of course, the legacy of Scream. And then, of course, also hearing from Jenna Ortega and talking about her character, Tara, and then hearing from the original trio, what their thoughts on thoughts are on the franchise as it is right now, as it pertains to us coming up on 25 years of this movie being in the pop culture or being in pop culture. And the fact that this movie is turning 25 is really uh, just something to just kind of just think back on for me. Because first time I saw this, I was a very, 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 very young child. Should not have been watching it, but, you know, I, I was watching it. So I'm I'm honestly as old as this movie. This movie is only two years older than me by the end of the year. It's only two years older than me. And I've been watching it about the same amount of time as it's been out. So been watching it for i'll say most of it for an inappropriate time other times appropriate of course when i hit my teen years i would say that's a more appropriate time <laughs> but if you want to you can of course pre-order it on amazon the screen blu-ray that being or the 4k if you want to do that you have some things to look forward to as you saw on the screen here as it pertains to special features and what do you guys think about that bloody legacy featurette that's going to be happening on the dvd and the blu-ray and the 4k do you think that's the thing that they'll show at the fathom event and will that have our exclusive first look at Screen 5 with it attached to it? But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to this? If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Of course, if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.